Hi guys, my name is April, this is Puffy, and this is Baby, and today we are so excited because we have a cooking video for you guys. This video is going to be a healthy cooking video for your parents, and it's going to make their taste buds pop. Right, Puffy? Yeah? What do you think? Are you excited? Yes? Are you thinking all Puffy? Okay, so first, we're going to start out with organic quinoa. So I've already cooked it, it's here, it's ready to go. And then we are going to add Soak and Serve Chop by Christine's Chop Shop. Her product is amazing. There are so many healthy options that she sells and today we're gonna use her chop. So first, to prepare it, we added boiling water, which the birds were not here because as you know, it's not good to have anything hot near your parrots. And then I added Christine's chop. So equal parts of both, let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes so it's nice and soft. Bless you, did you just sneeze in the food? My goodness, baby. So here it is, baby is, he's ready for it. Like, he wants it. So we are going to add it in the bowl. Yes, look at Puff Man, we're adding it. Okay, so it is so good. And it smells amazing. So what's in there is local vegetables where she lives. So she lives in Arizona, so she changes it up. So whatever vegetables are available, she will add it into her chop. So that's exciting because that means it changes a little bit and keeps it, keeps these guys ready for something new, yes? Okay, so now I've got my Ninja processor and we are going to add some vegetables into it. So we're gonna do Italian squash. This is what it looks like before we chopped it up. So we're gonna add this, and then we're gonna add broccoli. We're gonna add a little bit more broccoli, and then we're also gonna add carrots. Woo! Now, a little bit of cilantro. Carrots love cilantro. So I like adding a little bit, uh, I'll, Christine has many products, so I like to add her products into whatever I'm cooking to jazz it up or I can serve it as is. You can serve it dry like this, or you can soak it. So that's also super cool as well. Then what else are we gonna add? Bell pepper, so we're gonna put a bell pepper in there. And then Puffy, are you gonna poop on the table? Really? And then we're gonna add a yellow splash. So that's what we're gonna add. There we go. Perfect, it's ready to go. Now, we're gonna put the little thing on here. This is always tricky to do on video. Guys, so Puffy, we're gonna start the chopper. You ready? It's gonna make noise. You ready? Here we go. Here it goes. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh no, they don't, they're fearless. Did you like that? It's kind of fun, yes? Okay, so we have our beautiful little mixture of vegetables in there. So, a re huge reason why I like the food processor is it makes everything super tiny. So when your parrots take a bite, they are taking a bite of cilantro. They are taking a bite of parsley. They are taking a bite of carrots, bell peppers. There's everything in there. So we're gonna add that and we're gonna get the blade out of the way because that's sharp. We remove the blade and we remove the cord because we do not want to electrocute baby and puppy because things happen quickly with parrots. Okay, there it is. As you can see, very tiny. It's like the size of quinoa or couscous. So we're gonna add that in. Is that good? Yes, you love that. So there we go. Then I'm adding frozen peas and corn, both organic. I like to add a little bit of uh, different sizes, textures, to make it exciting. Parrots love color, they enjoy different textures, and they crave different things. So when you've got a huge flock like mine, I just kind of add a little bit of everything. So we're gonna add some of that in there. There we go. Baby loves peas. He's like the peas monster. He'll eat peas all day long if I allow him. Now, this is also something that I enjoy. Christine has so many different kinds of spices and this is one of them we're going to use. Now, if I was to go out and purchase all organic spices of everything that's in this one, so this is the anti-inflammatory, antioxidant blend, it would cost me a fortune. So, 
cayenne pepper, all kinds of different spices are in here and it tastes amazing. She also has another spice that's called nuts and spice and it is amazing, but we ran out, huh? We went through it quick, so just a little bit, just a little bit or else it'll make you sneeze. <laughs> so we added that in, we're gonna mix it. Are you gonna help me, Boo Boo? Huh? Oh, there we go, that's looking so good. Yes, it is. So now we're gonna add Harrison's coarse pellets. So these pellets are a little big. Yes, they're a little big. Now, I don't want Baby to know that they're in there, but I don't know. I guess he's gonna know. So that's the size of them. So what I have done is, oh, you sneezed in the food again? Baby! You're wearing a mask the next time we make a cooking video. We're gonna get closed down by the health department. Okay, so now I have a coffee bean grinder. Now this is designated only for pellets and I have put the Harrison pellets in there and so I already grinded them down. And I love this grinder. It's by Krupp, Krupps, Krupps and it was only $20, so it is amazing. So just add a little bit of pellets in there at first. That way the pellets don't take over the flavor and your birds can slowly get used to them. So this is another way to sneak healthy pellets into your parrot's food, right, boo-boo? You didn't see that, right? So now we're gonna add a little bit of organic coconut oil. Now this is just to keep everything moist and soft. Now, remember, Coconut oil still has fat. It has good fat, but it's still fat. So you only want to add a little bit, just enough to soften and moisten everything up. So now everything is kind of cool right now, so it might not melt as well, but I'm gonna add just like that. And no, you can't. We have to mix it. Absolutely not. I better mix quick. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna add that in there. So it is smelling so good. Baby loves it. No, I have to mix it, boo boo. Yes. Okay, so we've got that in there. Now, I'm gonna show you what we just made. It looks incredible, right? Okay. This is what it looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's full of all different kinds of vegetables. Christine's chopped vegetables, the vegetables that I've added, quinoa, pellets. I mean, that is an incredible meal for your parrots and they will thank you for it. Huh, Boo Boo? Yes. So now I want to discuss a few more reasons why I love, they love Christine's Cha Cha. So, Everything is locally grown, like I said, so that is amazing. She knows where she's getting all of her products and Puffy's gonna poop again. Puffy? Okay, let's wipe that up. My goodness. I mentioned that Kaiks can poop up to 15 minutes at a time. Something to think about when you are adopting a Kaik. And they have loads of energy. So let's get back to why I love Christine's Chop Shop. So many of you know my black-headed Kaique, Bailiana, passed away a few weeks ago from congested heart failure. It was a battle that she fought for a very long time, but at the end, she did not want to eat anymore. She was pretty much done. I went to the store, I, I bought her all kinds of pears, all, all kinds of fruits, vegetables, I tried everything, and I was disappointed each and every time when I offered her food. But then I remembered I had this so conserved chop in my cabinet and I was just like, you know what? I've been sitting there for a couple weeks and I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. And so I did and this is what she ate for till the end. And it gave me an extra two weeks with Bailey and that's huge and it was a quality of extra two weeks and she loved it. So that is definitely a personal testimony that I have. Another awesome thing about Christine's Chop is it's really good for birds that pluck. It helps them to grow their feathers. It gets healthy food into their little bellies and nutrition. And she has had 
really positive response with a lot of feather pluckers that have grown their feathers back. So I'm really looking forward to giving my African Grey her product. She has all different kinds and we're going to try each and every one that she recommends for feather pluckers and it's actually on its way. So I will be documenting that. Casey's journey, it's definitely worth the try. She's been feather plucking before I adopted her and it's probably over 10 years as far as I know that this bird's been feather plucking. So we shall see, won't it be good? And at the end of the day, she's still getting healthy food. Another reason, yes, there's more why we love Christine is during the hurricanes last year, do you guys remember the hurricanes in the United States? They were horrible and Puerto Rico was devastated. There were many birds out there that, or peeps that did not have access to food for their birds. And Christine was there. She shipped boxes and boxes of food to help feed those birds. And that is why her product's so awesome because it's dried and then you add a little bit of water and it plumps up and you have really good nutrition. So that's how many people were feeding their birds in Puerto Rico. If Christine could ship it to them, she did. And she did it out of her own pocket. And so it actually, financially almost jeopardized her own business. Can you imagine? She sent about $5,000 worth of her own money, food there. So that is pretty incredible. That's a good person. Did you sneeze on the food again? Boo boo, you're wearing a mask. Yes. So we love her. I'm very passionate about her product because it works and we wanted to show you and we will have more videos where we're going to be cooking and adding different products that she has. I'm so excited to combine them. So we look forward to seeing you guys, yes? Woo! Look at this chub. Oh my goodness. He's so awesome. Yay! All right, he's excited about his chop. Okay guys, we See you again. You want to say goodbye? You want to blow him a kiss? Can you blow him a kiss? Can you go? Can you give him a kiss? Can you? Oh, he's going to give you a hug. That's crossing up. Oh, you're so smart. If I could just get you to cover your beak when you sneeze, you're so smart. I love you.